Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.64 from Sadiku book. So the question is find V0. V0 is the voltage across this resistor and I0. I0 is the current that flowing through this resistor. And we are going to do mass analysis here. And I will start doing what loops can we do here. Let's do this one. First, let's name this as loop 1. Name this as loop 2, name this as loop 3, and we name this as loop 4. Now, in loop 1, we cannot do analysis because this is current source. We cannot know the voltage across it. I3 is the same and I4 is the same. So, the only normal analysis that we can do about these loops is loop number 2. So, we start at loop number 2. What can we do at loop number 2? So, here we start from this 10 ohm resistor. And our focus is on loop 2. So, I2 is the main multiplier. But here, I1 is flowing to the opposite direction minus i1 and then we move on to this 10 ohm resistance and the only current that pass through it is i2 and now we move on to this voltage source and it's flowing from positive to negative so the sign will be positive and the value is for i0 and that will equal to 0 and I will simplify this 10i2 minus 10i1 plus 10i2 plus now i0 is here and it is at the same direction as i1 but on the opposite direction of i2 so i will have 4 i1 minus i2 and that will equal to 0 now I will have 10 plus 10 plus minus, I mean 10 plus 10 minus 4 for I2, 20, 20 minus 4, it's 16, 16 I2. And now we will have minus 10 I1 plus 4 I1 and that will equal to minus 6 I1. And that will equal to 0. And, or we can divide both sides by 2. So I will have here minus 3 I1 plus 8 I2 is equal to 0. And let's save this as equation number 1. Now, what can we do here? Uh, let me think. Okay, I think I will do super loop on here. So, in the outer part. And I will name this super loop. So let's do KVL at super loop, our super loop. I will have this voltage source, so and it's flowing from negative to positive. So I will have minus two hundred fifty plus fifty ohm multiplied by I one here. The small loop is I one. And then plus 10, small loop is I2. And then what can we do here? This plus 40. And the only current that pass through it is I4. I think we have done for our super loop. So I will have these equations. So 
50i1 plus 10i2 plus 40i4 is equal to 250. Let's have this as equation number 2. Okay, now we move on again. Let's see what can we do here. I think we can look at this current source, this 5 ampere current source. So we will have the current that have the same direction is I4. So let's do 5 ampere current source. So it will be I4 minus the opposite direction is I3. And that will equal to 5, or I can rewrite this as minus I3 plus I4 is equal to 5. This is equation number 3. And now I will take a look at this voltage source. I mean current source, this dependent current source. So let's do this dependent current source so the current that have the current that has same direction is i1 so i will have i1 minus i3 and that will equal to the value of this current source so 1.2 v0 here and i need to eliminate this V0 and by Ohm's law we know that V0 is I2 multiplied by 10 so I will have I1 minus I3 is equal to 1.2 multiplied by 10 I2 or I will have I1 0.2 times 10 is 2, 2i2, two 2i2 two, two two to the left hand side, minus 2i2, and minus i3, that will equal to 0. Let's save this as equation number 4. Now we have 4 equations with 4 variables, i1, i2, i3, and i4. And let's clean the board, save the equations. And then let's see what can we do about it. So here, here is our equations, equation number one until four. And if we rewrite these equations into matrix form, we will get this four by four matrix. And we need to solve this. And I do not want to solve this manually because it will take a long time. So I will plug this into MATLAB and I will tell the result here. So let's wait. So here is what MATLAB told me the result is. And here is I1 until I4. But we need to know V0 and I0. So here V0 can be easily done by using Ohm's law. It is I2 multiplied by 10 so i2 is this value 0 0.2941 and it needs to be multiplied by 10 or v0 is equal to 2.9414 and here is v0 and for i0 it is equal to I1 minus I2, so I will have 0 0.7843 minus 0 0.2941. And let's give this into calculator. 0. That and minus... 0 0.2941 Okay, we have 
zero point forty nine zero two ampere and here is our final result this is for v0 and this is for i0 and hopefully i did not make any mistakes thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video